hello there. Monday, 7th of October, 2013, Songwriters Daily. This is the show for you, the songwriter. It's all about songwriting, the rules of songwriting, craft of songwriting, and becoming a unique songwriter yourself, and becoming, hang on, and becoming empowered, an empowered songwriter. Now, today we're going to work on chord rules. Lily, sorry, sorry, it's my daughter. Could you just stay there a minute, hang on. Chord rules, chord rules. And what we're going to do is I'm going to have a look at a Bruce Springsteen song and show you how that chord rules works in any key, but it happens to be today. The Bruce Springsteen song we're going to have a look at is in the key of D. So let's have a look at what he's done. Okay, so in his verse, so here's the key of D that I've written out. Okay, there it is with the, the D, the E minor, F sharp minor, G, a, B minor, and then the C sharp diminished, okay? And they're numbered. We use the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's the system. It could be any key, but we're in the key of D. So let's see what he did. Well, in the verse, he went D, G, D, A, D. So what's he done? D to a G. So he's gone 1 to a 4, the G. He's gone back to 1 for a D again. Then he's gone to A. That's the 5. That's the 5, and then he's gone back to D, 1. Okay, that's his verse, that's the verse. <clears throat> so the second verse was the same, and then in the chorus he's gone a, a G. He's played a G, so he's gone on to, he's gone on to the, four, uh, the, 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 the 4. He started his chorus on a 4. This is within the key. He started on the four, uh, the four, the G. And then he's gone to one, D. And then he went to G again, four. And then he went to an A, five. This is the chorus. The whole chorus goes for a while in this song, Devils and Dust, by Bruce Springsteen. And here's the rest of the chorus. He goes to a G again, so that's the four. And then he goes to, and then he goes to a D. So he's gone to one again. Then he goes to a G, so he's gone back to four. And then he goes to the A, there, the five, again, and then back to the D, the one chord, right? Which is the the key of the chord, the D. Now, does he do anything different? Verse three, verse four, chorus. Okay, he does nothing else different in this whole song. He has four verses, and he has one. He has two choruses. Okay. Now, that's that's an example. I could have chosen any song, and I'll choose I'll choose many more songs. I'll choose songs of. Your, of you, you as well, or you know, songs I want to get off SoundCloud, or anyone who may send me a song, I may decide to use their song and use it as an example on the show of what you've done in your song. But what I'm trying to get across is chord rules, which is the map that I always talk about. This map, it doesn't matter what key you're in, you number them one to seven, and you have your the, the key you're in chord there, D. And the second will always be a minor, the third's always a minor, the fourth and fifth are always major, the sixth is always minor, and the seventh is the diminished. But every time, that's the pattern. Major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, diminished. That's the pattern every time. And you can work on any song and see what they've done. If he had a middle eight, we would've, I would have loved to have seen the middle eight, what he did there. Did he go outside the key? Did he flatten certain things? Did he turn minors into majors? That's what's also interesting, and that's what I work on. When I work on chord rules, I'm always talking about these things, and they apply in any key. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope I'm really getting things through to you, because this is just so super-duper beneficial, this whole chord rules, what I call chord rules the rules of chords in any key, right? They're so super duper beneficial to your writing. It's how you finish songs start to finish. When you understand the map, this map that I make, the major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, diminish, when you understand that, then like you can write then you can always finish a song. You can always write a song from start to finish because you understand all of your possibilities. You understand everything. That's just a that's the basic map. From there, we flatten and major things that are normally minor. We flatten things that are normally not flattened. There's all sorts of things, and I've talked about them before in other shows, and I'll keep talking about it. Anyway, that's it for today. Uh, keep on writing. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're going well. And, um, yeah, 
just all the best. Big heart, big heart. Boom, keep going. Okay, I'll see you Wednesday. Bye-bye. Dad, you're just talking to